Simultaneously at Damartin, north of Paris, another siege came to a bloody end. As police launched their assault on the print works where the two suspects in the Charlie Hebdo shooting had been holed up, the authorities say the Kwachi brothers charged out and opened fire. They were killed in the shootout. A man in his 20s emerged unscathed. He'd hidden inside the building unbeknown to the gunman. This local shop owner knows him. When we heard about the happy outcome, she says, it was few. We felt relieved. We sent a text message to him and his wife and we asked him to tell us whenever he can that everything's OK. The young man had reportedly made contact with police and provided information from his hideout. For the authorities in the small town near Paris's main airport, an intensely stressful day was over. Once again, I'm going to express our relief, he says, the relief of everyone, of all the local residents, because this happened in a densely populated zone. There are children, secondary school students, people at work. The company which the two men infiltrated is one we know well, we know the bosses, so we're really relieved to see it ended up this way. The two brothers had had a skirmish with police at a roadblock earlier in the day, leading them to take refuge at the print works. Before his death, one of the gunmen said he acted on behalf of Al-Qaeda. Our correspondent says with the end of the manhunt here in Damartin, a drama comes to an end and it's left the country with a bloody wound. France will need time to recover, if indeed that's possible.